All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Robin Rap Outdoors. And today we are doing something a little different. Still walleye fishing, just switching locations. Originally, when we were driving up here, we were going to go to De Pere. And we noticed our friend, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jack Goggin, was also in route up north. We're like, hey, are you going to De Pere? And he's like, nope, we're going to Oconto, Green Bay. So we decided to ditch De Pere, beeline it up there. And I've never fished up there before, but allegedly the hot bait up there is hair jigs. I've never caught a fish on a hair jig before, so fingers crossed I can make something happen today. But I'm here with Mr. Daly in his boat, and uh, we're almost there, and we're going to hit it pretty soon. So stick along, stay tuned. You guys will not be pissed. We're going to put the hammer down on walleye in a location we've never fished. So see you then. Process here. See all that ice over there? It's like lily pads, but for walleye, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right on the edge of it. And hook an ice cube. Nope, we're below the ice cube. That's where my 30 inch is residing right now. It's right over there. I'm just waiting to see one chase me up. I want it back in. It doesn't look that windy out there though. No, it doesn't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I felt him throttle that. Hell yeah, walleye number one on the day. It's not small. Nice one. Yeah. All right, first ever hair jig fish for me. Look at that. We like that. What do you think about that, John? Is that unreal? Unreal. That dude has cold water warts on him. That's, oh, yeah. that's hot. All right, we're gonna get Buddy unhooked. Uh, are you hungry, sir? <laughs> Not for this one. All right, all right. You don't want his herpes? I can respect that. All right, we're gonna get the hook out of Buddy and he will go back down. Well, I definitely wanted that. You didn't need that. Uh, yeah, he throttled that. Dang it. No. All right, you wanna do the honors good, sir? All right, hopefully that is more to come. Awesome. It's my first ever Green Bay fish too, I think. Oh, yes, sir. Shit. They throttle that. Yeah, John, I think we're on them. Yeah. Yeah, please. This is a, another nice one. Well, do you want a purple little hair jig or what? I do have, I think I should have another one. So right. that, that is a upgrade over the last one, I'd say. This is what we came here for. And the hook just popped right out. All right, sir, you want to do me the honors again? Want to get a picture of this guy? Sure. You can make a thumbnail. Good. All right, a couple pictures have been acquired with Buddy. He's going back down. There he goes. Yes, sir, John. No. no, sir, John. Is that a fish, though? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah so, no, I don't. so now you know they'll eat that color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me clean up, crew. I wasn't joking. No, you weren't. I mean, that wall I did want to twist and shout, but it didn't fully commit. commit. That one wanted to twist and shout, though. This might be a bigger fish, John. Yeah. This might be a bigger fish, John. It's definitely not small. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is probably the one that yeah, the one that just uh, short struck you. I told you, man, I was going to be cleanup crew. What did I tell hey, you? Look, you got it on the stinger. See? Yeah. Nah, that's why you put the stinger on, bud. Hell yeah. All right. He might, uh, he's he's picture worthy, I'd say. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish right there. On the stinger. Now, that's why you put the stinger on. Otherwise, I would not have caught that fish. No. So, hell yes. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> that's a 23, 24. Yeah. If he ever wants to cooperate. 
23. 23. Get a picture of this guy. Yes, sir. And back down he goes. All right, got a couple of pictures with this guy. Back down he goes. Big 23 inch Green Bay Walter. Gotta love it. John warmed him up for me. I finished the, cl the cleanup call. We're putting that on the hook on, right? Yeah, I would. <laughs> Jack, I take tracks, cash, card. That Your fit. own? I'll take them. <laughs> nah, he's got... I want to have fish. Stop turning. <laughs> Dialed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I'm gonna give you guys a quick demonstration of how I'm working this hair jig here. So, step one. Bomb it out there. And then you let her get to the bottom. Once you notice your line goes slack, you're just gonna reel in and just one quick pump. Rod tip up, one quick pump. Keep your rod tip up, one quick pump. And that is how every fish today has been caught. So hopefully we get some more. Well, oh, on paper, they should be all behind us. Yes, sir. First cast in a new spot. Get the net, my boy. Feels like another nice one. This really is John Daly guide. Yeah, story. thanks man. Thanks for taking me out. <laughs> Please be a walleye and not a whitefish. I would think so. You just give me the business and give me some head shakes. Oh yeah. Another good one? Yes. Oh yeah. Another Green Bay brute. Yeah. Hey, oh, that's not it's not huge, huge, but yeah, that's bigger than anything anything by us has to offer. Yes, it is. Well, just uh, spot locked into a new spot or find some fish. That was my first cast here, and let me just tell you that uh, that hair jig's been putting in some work today, and I've never caught a fish on a hair jig until today, and I'd say I'm getting pretty comfortable with I'd it. I'd say it was worth uh, the cost that you paid for it, too, yep. Taylor. Right? Yeah, so uh, backstory behind that hair jig. Get out of I uh, caught or got snagged into pier. Ended up pulling up a little bit of fishing line and some brush, and in that brush was that hair jig. So the river taketh and the river giveth. All right, so we're gonna need to get some. All right, we're one. gonna get Bud unhooked and then he'll go back down. All right, sir, Buddy is unhooked, ready to go back. Send her on down. Another healthy Green Bay walleye. Hopefully, Got some more coming. It. Hell yeah. I will. I got you. I got you. Oh. Nice one. Ah, uh, monster. Hey, we'll take it though. All right, GoPro just died. John's still hooked up. Get in there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Thank God. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been that bad. That could have been extraordinarily bad. Okay, I didn't get He did it. I didn't get Guys, scum. he did it. Let's get it. That's a nice walleye. That's a nice one, sir. All right, sir. Look at that. John's first Walter of the day. You want a picture with that guy? Or? Oh, yeah. All right, I got you. All right, so if you guys, you guys will see this fish release, but you're going to see it on YouTube Shorts, so be sure to check it out because we're going to get a little update as to what's going on out here. So catch you guys later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude the day out on the water. And oh my God, we figured it out. We actually caught fish out there. I caught my first hair jig fish. It's a miracle. So, as you guys saw, I finished with four walleye. Mr. John finished with one. The biggest out of the two being maybe a 23 incher today. And uh, I had fun. All I gotta say is that was a lot more, it felt a lot more rewarding than fishing to pier because there it's like fishing, fishing a barrel while losing $50 worth of lures, whereas out there, you're just fishing the occasional pods of fish. It's nice like flat bottom so you're not don't gotta worry about getting snagged up in anything and yeah i like that a lot more and even better when we were coming back in granted it was really busy in the in the river there but as we were coming back we were marking a whole lot of fish in the channel so even if you don't own a boat i would highly recommend going and fishing from shore because it literally looked like to pier in that river and 
there was nobody fishing. So that's all I got to say about that. And uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And one last thing. We do have an Instagram that I don't promote nearly as often as I should. And I also noticed we're kind of creeping up on a thousand subs. So uh, why don't you guys do me a little favor? I think once we hit 1,000 subs, we're going to do a little uh, giveaway. So why don't you guys go follow the Instagram at RobinRap underscore outdoors. And go give it a follow. I'm thinking when we do do giveaways, I'm just going to randomly go through our followers. And whoever's lucky is lucky. So if you're interested in a giveaway, I go follow. So like I said, if you guys like today's video, we'll catch you guys on the next one.